Okay, so hello, welcome to another vlog. Today is Saturday, October 3rd. I actually just ended my other vlog, so it's gonna be kind of a weird thing. Um, anyway, but I just got done working out. I'm trying out the um, bikini body guide. I don't know if you guys have heard of the Kayla It Seems workout program. I'm really sweaty. It's been really good so far. I've only done it three times now, I think, but I'm always really sore. Anyway, Brad is there in the background. Hey Brad, Brad's feeling a lot better. Willie's over here. And it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. And Brad is currently doing what? Setting up your iPhone 6 Plus. So I debated like if I wanted the 6 Plus or not and Brad got it last year and then I got the 6. And then the more he had his 6 Plus, I was like, gosh, I use my phone for everything. I use it for all my YouTube stuff all the time, more so than my computer. So Brad got the what do they call this? Just the 6 plus S? 6S plus. 6S plus. He got this yesterday because we had an upgrade. Hi. Oh, 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 good morning. Hi, he just runs into my leg. <laughs> he sprints in yesterday's clothes because he fell asleep because we were gone all day yesterday. Um, so I'm excited to have a new phone. Except I need a phone case. I guess you have one. It's like I cannot have a phone case. So today is general conference for our church, which means that there is like a huge gathering and we have speakers all day. And so we're not going to it, but it's broadcast like worldwide. People come from all over the world to Salt Lake to translate, to be here. It's just a really cool time. Um, but I'm really excited because this woman, Mama Bagoon, she's from Ukraine. She's like somebody that I met. She was like one of the very first Ukrainians that I met and the first Ukrainian that I understood in Russian. Um, she helped me a lot with Russian when I first met her and at first when we met I couldn't speak Russian and she couldn't speak English So we spoke to each other in Spanish because that was the only language we both knew so that was really funny But she is actually visiting Utah from Ukraine So we're gonna see her today and her family like her daughter's daughter I think so I don't know if I'm gonna vlog that or not, but that's what's happening I didn't realize I was completely out of focus either um, but that's what's happening today and we're just gonna get projects done around the house too because been we haven't really done projects so yeah that is it okay i have been a cleaning mad woman i vacuumed the whole house swept the whole house mopped the whole house doing laundry doing dishes now it's time for breakfast while i watch general conference that's one of the leaders of our church and i'm gonna have eggs and toast because it's like my favorite thing in the world and i got a new phone today i got brad's six plus so i'm really excited to have a bigger phone <laughs> okay, so I'm here with my friend now. Yena Gabri Paruski is nice to yes, Menogi. Lydia Katori, Smotret, Tori Znae, Truski, Ziktoja. Say hi. Privet. Hello. 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 It's like four o'clock in the afternoon now. We were there for a couple hours. We were there for like three hours. Two and a half hours. How do you think that was seeing Mama Bagoon? So good to see her after all these years. <laughs> Brad and I were a little scared that we wouldn't be able to understand her. Well, I wasn't scared to not understand. Well, not understand, but like speak. It just takes me longer to think of words and how to put it all together. And it's different because you guys know I talk a lot, and so it's funny that I can't talk a lot anymore in Russian. I used to be like, because I have to talk, you guys know me. But I couldn't talk as much as I normally can. I'd be like, wait a second, how do you say that word? So I think we're heading to Costco because we need some wipes and diapers. Oh, that lady, that's sad. And diapers and wipers. Diapers and wipers, is what we'll call it. But our kids are so exhausted. They liked her a lot, though. She was super nice. Okay, well, let's go to Costco. Okay, so, whoa, look at that creepy lighting. <laughs> I guess I could turn this light on. Um, it's like almost eight o'clock. Where's the light to the office? There it is. Oh my gosh. And I don't know if I showed you guys this today, but Brad hung up this deer head. I got it for anniversary or something. So just right above the computer, there it is. And then right there, I wanna put a couple shelves 
And then that's from yesterday, I think I showed you guys. Um, so Brad's gonna run to the store, I think, to get some whipping cream and some Nutella because we're gonna make some blinchiki tomorrow for breakfast before conference because conference is again tomorrow. So we have it like two sessions tomorrow at 10 o'clock and then at two o'clock. So it's two hours long each time. So there's four sessions over the weekend or there's five because there's like a guy session and a woman session the week before. It's kind of confusing. But we're gonna make some blini, which is like crepes basically. And I wanted to sit down here while Brad is um, gonna go to the store and I wanted to edit the vlog before this vlog because I'm gonna split it up into two. But now I hear Molly. And I am so tired, you guys. I, I've been waking up early this entire week at like five and I just can't go back to sleep. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go. And so I just keep waking up and working out or editing or cleaning or doing something because I just can't sleep. Once I'm awake, I'm awake. Molly. But yeah, that was so surreal today, seeing Mama Bagoon. I told you guys that she was like one of the first people that I ever understood in Russian and she was so great because I was in so many different cities on my mission. I think I'm gonna do a video about it but I'm kind of hesitant because I get scared about like hater comments and stuff about my religion because <sighs> people can be not nice when it comes to religion, right? Some people are just not cool about it so I'm hesitant to talk about it even though a lot of you guys have asked me about it but my mission basically was 18 months long and that means I didn't get to come home or anything. I was just in Ukraine for 18 months straight and I would be, every six weeks, I would like be transferred to a different city or most of the time, it was usually like every three months. And I would live with a companion, which is another girl and we were missionaries together and we would work hard and we would talk to people and just teach them about our religion. We'd go on lessons, we'd teach English, we'd do service projects and Mama Bagoon just like would call me wherever I was and because I met her in my very first city. I lived in four cities when I was in Ukraine and she would just call me and check up on me and say, how are you doing? And just kind of like my mom away from home, you know? And so she holds a special place in my heart. And now she was telling us how, she was telling us about bombs going off and people's limbs just everywhere and this makes me really sad. There's a war going on in Ukraine and it's really, really bad. And it's just so sad because I have such a love for Ukrainian people. I lived among them. I lived with Ukrainians. Like some of the companions I lived with didn't even, even know English. And so I like to talk and we would just stay up late talking and we were with each other 24 hours a day. You can't leave, you have to be with each other at all times. Um, I just have such a love for the Ukrainian people and it's just so sad that there's like this war going on that nobody was really talking about, nobody's really, you know, and like people are persecuting them because they're part of a church that has Americans in it and they call us a sect, you know, and we're not, but that was just like really hard to listen to and just hear about like the horror stories of the bombs going off and buildings blowing up and people losing limbs and just in the streets of cities that I lived in. It's just so sad. So please keep creating people in your prayers. Okay, Molly's still like, sorry, that was so sad. I'm gonna go get Molly now. Hi you guys, it is now Sunday, October 4th. And holy cow, last night was such a rough night. Molly woke up every two hours she's never done that in her entire life so it was a rough night and i'm really tired and i want some diet dr pepper right now anyway it's been kind of a long morning i couldn't sleep the boys woke up super early of course and we actually had some friends over for breakfast hi winston and i just got done filming two videos that will be going up probably this week <laughs> yes they both will be going up this week so here's the aftermath of everything i did an unboxing for fab fit fun which will be cool because i've never done that before and just some favorites and stuff like that. So just got done filming. Brad is upstairs with the children and I am making dinner for a friend tonight uh, because she just moved in. Yay, Kelly! And yes, yeah, so making dinner for her. And I'm just hoping I can start feeling better because I'm not feeling really good. Um, so I'm gonna take all these things upstairs. Also, the other day when I went shopping with my mom and little sister, I got some MAC lipstick. 
and I'm obsessed with it. I'm wearing it right now, but it is good old syrup. I've never had this color before, but I really like it. Definitely going in a favorites video coming up, I'm sure, next month. Um, so yeah, that is it. Brad has been playing with these wooden pieces and we're gonna hang these on the wall up there. So he's kind of been like making a design to see what we can make with it, so that'll be good. We've also been watching General Conference all morning long and it's on a break right now. We have a couple hours before the next one starts. So it's been really, really good and I feel very, very inspired. And so I feel like I have a lot of video ideas like brewing in my head. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna kind of clean up everything here. We made blini this morning. So good. This is like insanely delicious. Cosmo Creations Coconut Crunch. So good. But I'm feeling kind of sick. I'm like a sore throat and stuff. I'm like, what is going on? Okay, I'm just trying to keep stuff in its right place. I don't want to take 50 things upstairs. Who was your favorite guy, Max? Max is just telling me who his favorite guy from Star Wars was. Who's your favorite guy, Max? Luke Skywalker. Molly is a professional exerciser girl. And Willie is over there waiting for the water to boil because he wants to make Star Wars mac and cheese. So today is Monday and I went to Target. Will had preschool. So I went to Target with Max and Molly and I got a few things from Target again. I'm so naughty. Mm -hmm. um, I saw some things that I needed to get for the boys and so I got some coats and stuff like that because it goes fast. Um, I got that sign right there that says happy fall. I've been so excited to have a fireplace to actually decorate. I'm not really gonna put things on the mantle because obviously our TV and our speaker thing, but how cute is that? Happy fall. Isn't that just so festive? Um, my house is a disaster. I wasn't feeling well last night or yesterday, just like achy and sweaty. And I don't know, I feel better today, but not 100%. I'm just putting away groceries. I'm making my friend dinner tonight because, oh my gosh, saddest thing ever. Um, she's 35 weeks pregnant and she fell down the stairs and like broke her leg and sprained both of her both of her ankles. And she has two other kids, so she can't even move. So we're making her dinner and hopefully I can make her dinner multiple times a week because I feel so bad for her. Um, I also had to tell my sister that we're not going to Vegas anymore. We were planning on it, and then as the logistics were happening, Brad had work stuff, and then Winston, our dog, we didn't have anybody to watch him, and then blah, 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 all this random stuff just was happening that was like, we don't think it's gonna be a good idea to go. So, unfortunately, we're not going to Vegas this weekend, as planned, um, for my brother-in-law's white coat ceremony. So, pretty bummed about that, but hopefully we can make it down there in the next month or so to see them and hang out with them, so. Cute. Cute siblings. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys a couple of, of the things that I got from Target, so little mini Target. No, it's not done yet, it's not boiling. Um, okay, quickly, so I got that banner thing. I, I was so excited that I, my house is a disaster too, because like I said, last night was chaos, or yesterday was chaos. Um, so they had these on sale, the Simple Micellar Wipes. I will never use another cleansing wipe ever. I needed more, I make up remover. This is like the only one that works on me, the Sonia Kashuk one. And then, oh, and then I got this because everyone is talking about this, but it's the Pixie Glow Tonic. It's an exfoliating toner. So, what? What were you saying? Did you have something to say, sister? Yeah, professional exercise girl. Okay. And then I got myself some razors and some cotton pads. It's almost done. Hold on, wait. And then some Colgate. Oh, and these I'm really excited about, Max. I've been eyeing these for a while, but they're copper, and I thought it'd be a good addition to my copper in the kitchen. Okay, wait one second. They are a copper colored um, salt and pepper shaker. Cause I'm trying to add pops of copper, as you can see like right there. And then with this, and look how dirty my table is. We're just adding copper. And then I got, this was really cute too. These, you can't really see. Look how cute, copper measuring spoons. Those are cute, what else did we get? Yep, that's also copper. You guys have already seen that before. Um, what else did I get at Target today? Oh, we got Will some snow pants. I'm always holding this really well. 
You already have snow pants. So just like a bib thing so he can wear it in the snow because he doesn't have one. Yeah, you do. You have the exact same ones. They're wills from a couple years ago. So that's my uh, mini Target haul again. But And then I just got a bunch of food. Um, then make the skinny enchiladas. I don't know if you guys remember that recipe. It's like so good. You have like the chilies and the adobo sauce. And the adobo sauce has like a smoky flavor to it. Super delicious. All my kids are looking at me like, what are you talking about? So today, um, no more plans. We have a painter coming to paint something in our house at one o'clock, so it's 12 and five. I just wanna knock out projects. I just wanna make stuff clean and tidy. Okay, so this is the adobo sauce. It's so good. But I'm kind of nervous that it's a little too spicy. Ugh. So I added a little bit of honey and then a little bit of sour cream. And I'm just hoping that's an adobo pepper right there. And I'm hoping it's not as spicy. Also, I have some shredded chicken. And if you guys haven't seen this tool, it's from Pampered Chef. I got it from my friend a couple of years ago. But basically, it's incredible. So I cooked the chicken, and then you know it's so annoying to shred it. All you do is just twist it like this. Isn't that amazing? So then it shreds it all, because this is gonna go inside of the enchilada. Isn't that so genius? Genius! So right now it is, what time is it? It is 4.30, and I'm like dying for Brad to come home. Molly's taking a nap. The boys are just playing. We just uh, had a dance party not too long ago, then put Molly down. And I notice I always hold the camera like really low. I need to hold it higher. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna taste this sauce and hopefully it's not very spicy. I'm kinda nervous. Hopefully the honey and the sour cream took down the spiciness. Because she's pregnant. Because, you know, when you get like, you don't love spicy stuff when you're pregnant. Because it can give you like heartburn or whatever. It's still so spicy. Dang it. Where is Brad when I need him? He's like the professional. Took a lot of it down, but I just I'm still getting that really spicy like ting at the end. Uh ting, I mean zing. Okay, now I'm gonna cut up some onion. I have something really funny to tell you guys. I'll tell you right now. Um, where can I put you guys? You know what? I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you right here as I cut the onions. Um, one thing that's really funny to me is I cannot cut things with small knives. Like obviously if I'm cutting like a little strawberry or something, I'll use a small knife. I have to chop with like legit big knives. None of this like small knife business for chopping stuff. I can't do it. To me, I have to pretend that I'm like a legit chef. <laughs> that's my way of doing it. Also, do you guys want to know a little onion trick? I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this, but for all of you newer moms or newer whatevers, or I know that there's some teenagers that watch, a little trick is, let me show you what you do. So if you're gonna dice it, which is what I'm gonna do, all you do is you hold it down with your finger and then you, how do I, how am I gonna spend this? And then you just slice it all the way. You can make lines, but not all the way to the top. Does that make sense? And then you chop it. And then it's all held together, if that makes sense. So, let me show you. So, I'm just gonna, let's see. This is turning into like a cooking show. So, you just slice it like this, but you don't go all the way, if that makes sense. You keep like this little space right here, not cut up. So that, it all stays together. Then you can turn it this way, and then when you dice it, look at that. It's all, isn't that cool? Learn something new every day, right guys? And then you can rock it like this too, if you wanna make everything smaller pieces. So the enchiladas are almost done. Ooh, look at the steam. And then just green onions on top. Well, do you understand?